Hey, welcome to Well.com, home of TIG time. Hi, I'm Mr. TIG, and we're back here at the set to show you some, some changes that we think you may want in your welding system. We get this question a lot, and it has to do with air cool torches. Now, we've done over 200 shows at this set, and almost all of our shows are with an air cool torch. And that's fine because we're only doing light duty. Uh, we're not doing high repetitive work. But you got to ask the question, when you go to water cool torches, what's the reason and why? So I like to explain it like this. You've seen me use this torch. This is my favorite air cool torch for general industry. And this is a 17F, 17 flex head. It's a 150 amp capable torch. Uh, you can see the advertisement and see all the different duty cycles, but the reality behind it is when do you decide that you can't use this anymore? And it's basically when it gets too hot. If it gets too hot and you have to set it down and let it cool off and it's constant, that means you're running too many parts. You may have a machine that has a little bit higher amperage than it's rated for this torch. So if that happens, and usually you find that around the 200 amp range, that's the dividing line. So if you have a 200 amp machine, I still recommend this. If you get into that production type mode, then you're going to have to upgrade and you're going to have to go to water cool. So that's why I brought in a water cooler here and that's why I want to explain the different uh, types of torches that you can use. So this is the 17 flex head torch, 150 amp uh, duty cycle, like I say, is uh, anywhere from 60 to 100 percent. If you find that you don't want to step up and go to the water cooler because it adds quite a few dollars to your system, you can still stay within the air-cooled version of all this. Now, what you'll notice is that the cable changes, the thickness of the cable changes. This is a 200 amp. It's called a TL26. Uh, again, it's a flex head. And so let's compare it in size. And you'll notice that it's probably, I don't know, 20 or 30 percent larger. So if you can live with that, this is a 200 amp rated torch. And if you can live with that, uh, it's substantially less than going to a water cool system. So I think you probably have $100, $135 wrapped up in this. If that doesn't do the job for you, or you get a machine, let's just say that you get a 250 amp machine, and that's the machine that I've got right here. If you buy a 250 amp machine, I think you immediately need to go to water cool. Just because you're going to use it, you're going to hit the higher, higher end of this machine pretty quickly. So if that happens, I just want to explain, here's a water cooler and here's some of the physics behind it. First of all, the torch that you put on there is going to have three cables. And in, in our next segment, we're going to show you how to hook it up to an entire welding system. But I just want to show you that you do have a water in and a water out cable. And one's a power cable, one is an, a gas or an argon, argon coming to the head. So uh, you got to make sure you, you put them on there correctly. But this torch is a small torch. You can see it's very comfortable. This is a 300 amp torch. So it's never going to get hot on you. Uh, so that's the, the solution if you get the 250 amp machine. Now, one of the things to, to be concerned about, these systems are really pretty simple systems. You've got, uh, you've got a reservoir, and it holds about two gallons. Uh, you've got a pump and a fan, and you've also got uh, a motor, and you've got a little radiator here. So this system here, you know, you're in the four to $500 uh, range. If you get ready to buy a complete system, buy it in a bundle, buy it with the torch and everything combined because you get it cheaper. So now, what do you put in here for water? You just put tap water in? And the answer is no, you don't. And uh, there's all kinds of solutions out there that people have. I want to give you one of my remedies. One of them is just put in distilled water. Not DI water, but just distilled water. It's good, clean water. You actually need a little bit of the iron particles in there, not very many. So it's going to hold two gallons of distilled water. Now, that works great for circulation and cooling, but you still have to, to deal with cold weather, uh, the lines freezing up, and you got to deal with bacteria building up. So what can you put in there that will help? And I like just getting good old-fashioned isopropyl alcohol, 32 ounces, put it in there, it works great. Now I can tell you that there's other solutions out there. Uh, whatever works for you is fine, but be careful because you get into some of these antifreezes and they'll start rotting out your seals and things like that. Now there is another type of water antifreeze for like the RV uh, business in, in, when you winterize an RV. 
Uh, they have, you know, it's eco-friendly and that sort of thing. There's a lot of people experimenting with that in these coolers, and they're having good success. So with that said, is this a 220 or a 110 unit? And the fact is you can get them either or. Uh, be real careful which one you get because, first of all, you would like for it to plug into your machine. If you plug it into your machine, when you turn your machine on, water starts circulating. If you have to turn this on independently, you're probably going to forget somewhere along the way. And one of these lines, typically this big one right here, it's going to burn out on you. And it's just because you welded without water circulating through it. Now, the next time you use it, it'll start leaking. That's how you'll find it. So I just want to show you that uh, this particular machine that I've got today is uh, a machine that has a plug in the back. So this thing plugs directly in. This one happens to be a 220. So take a look, and if you go online and you see this machine, click on the one that fits you. Okay, not every machine has a plug in the back, so be very careful which one you order. Okay, with that said, uh, this, this machine, this, this entire system right here, it doesn't weigh a lot. We're going to put the cover back on it. We're going to put the whole system together and, and test it for you. Uh, we like the quick disconnects because that allows you to take your torch off. And if you need to change torches, specialty torches for any reason, it's easy to do. So you can just, within seconds, swap torches. Other than that, it's a good system. I'm going to put it to use here in a few minutes. Thanks for watching TIG Time. I'm Mr. TIG.